Kaizen Sensei here, going to be giving you another lesson today. We're going to be talking about quality, okay? And the reason why I think it's a very important subject is because if you've been keeping up with the news, you've been hearing that uh, we've been having a capacity issue with regards to testing on the COVID-19 coronavirus. Right now, it requires you to have kits. Someone has to make these kits, okay? And as a result, because we were kind of like behind the eight ball, the uh, Federal Drug Administration and the Department of Health and Human Services basically says, go ahead and make these things without going through the standard uh, vetting process. I think it's called uh, FDA 510K process. But anyway, positive and negative, okay? When you make a test, the intended use of that test is if you are, <clears throat> once the results come out, you want that result to come out correct. You do not want a false positive or a false negative. Let me give you an example. You take a test and it says that you are positive for the disease when in fact you weren't. So what does that mean? I've had the disease, I'm immune, I can go out and do my thing then catch the disease again and say, hey, what's up? I was tested and it said I was positive. So I shouldn't be getting the disease when in fact the test was incorrect. Similarly, if it said that you were negative when you in fact had the disease has certain even more terrible consequences. Take for example, a person goes in and says, I'm sick, you were tested, you don't have the virus, go home. Okay, the second time you go, you are tested, you are negative, go home. The third time you're near death, matter of fact, you might even be on the process of being put into a vent. They take the test and it goes, oh my goodness, you've had that virus all along. And the two tests that you had uh, provided with incorrect results. Okay, so that's no bueno. And that's because the quality of the products did not go possibly through a standard quality control process okay now quality is based upon the ctq which means it's customer to quality standards and it's based upon value and remember what we talked about what value is value is a, a product or service that a customer is willing to pay for providing that it satisfies certain requirements those requirements is a need a want and a desire and it has to have certain urgency factors on it and providing that that product or service is delivered on time, perfectly, on time, hassle, and defects free. So, based upon that, the CTQ has, CTQ has what they call specifications. And those specifications will come out with a product that does the job correctly first time every time. So, the, it starts out by having something called a QMS, Quality Management System. And that's basically a holistic approach. The company gets into this whole, whole scheme of things where they have the, the department, the finance department, executive management, administration, IT operations, customer service and marketing sales are all in. It's a holistic idea that whatever they do affects the end result to the customer, okay? And the customer, in this case, would be the patient. Because the patient wants to make sure that if he's going to be tested, he wants to be sure that the test is correct. QMS is divided into two parts, QA and QC. I call it the verification and validation process. Verification has to deal with what you have, like in written format, that, that shows that you are following a certain process. The QA, according to the QMS, has, starts off with a quality manual. A manual is a thick book that tells you all these wonderful things. It has how to write a critical uh, 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 a control document and record, how you write a control document and store control records. It talks about how management is to conduct business. It talks about how HR ver uh, verifies all the documents on an employee who's competent. It talks about the products or services that you are developing that has records of design and development, uh, in this case, uh, medical device records and history. 
and it goes through this whole real uh, stream of things of product realization that talks about, um, well, I'll say things like uh, um, calibration of equipment, okay, purchasing, per, uh, like say that you are purchasing certain things that has to be validated that if you buy salt, it's salt, you know what I'm saying? So there is a certain vetting process that you have uh, in control in a written format that says that you are following a certain process so that it ends up what, what you purchase. Okay, that's, yeah, I screwed that up. But anyway, it also has parts about measurements and systems analysis. It talks about ad uh, audits. It talks about uh, how you deal with complaints, okay, and defects. And then all of this, and then finally it ends up with continuous improvement, okay? Now that's the, what we would call a verification, okay, the verification on the written side. Then we come to the validation side where it's an actual action. And that's where they have actual staff that, that inspects and audits ongoing the process. So once it's going through building this little widget, there is a department that checks steps to make sure that you are following process. And at the end, it also inspects the end result. There was one company that I worked for where we made like 40,000 plates. This is for, um, uh, these are these Petri dishes, okay? And, and then the quality control department will pull 10 out of this 40,000. And out of this, they pulls it out randomly, and they would test all 10 of them. And if one of those 10, one of those 10 failed, they threw all 40,000 um, pieces away. And <clears throat> this is important because that ensures that if there was one out of 40,000 that failed, we don't know what else could have failed. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of like helps you ensure that if you take a test, that test is correct. And that everything that it does, whatever you get matches specifications and matches the critical to quality standards as set by the customer that gives that customer value. So, what does that mean? Is that on this side, and we're going to talk about SOPs, work instructions, and job aids in my next uh, video, but it's very important that when quality is concerned, quality is concerned, that whatever you say you're going to provide, a test, that test for coronavirus, that that test will not give you false negatives or false positives. And that goes on for everything else, okay? If you're going to buy cookies and it's chocolate chip cookies, you're going to get chocolate chip cookies that taste good. And if you're going to buy a car, you want to make sure you turn that ignition, it takes you to your destination. It follows the same process that whatever you buy, is delivered on time perfectly, hassle and defects free. So anyway, I hope you like what you saw or what you see. Uh, look forward to my next video because it's going to be hot. Anyways, Kaizen Sensei saying thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and share below.